Okay, guys, let's talk a little bit about the absolute value stuff that we did today. So first of all, we talked about the idea that if I look at something, if the number's on the outside and that number is bigger than 1, that that means it's going to be a vertical stretch. Okay, we also said that if it had a number in the front outside the absolute value that was basically between 0 and 1, that it would have to be a vertical shrink. So those were two things that you needed to know. The big thing, remember, that we talked about is that, that it's a vertical change if the number's outside the absolute value. Okay, now remember, I could possibly have a negative 3x or a negative 3 absolute value of x. The only difference with that one would be it would open down, it would still be a vertical stretch, and it would still look like this. It would just look exactly like its mirror image, so it opened this way. Okay, so keep that in mind that that's what that negative part tells you. Okay, we did that it was horizontal. Basically, when the number was inside. So if the number was one half here and it was inside, that's going to be your horizontal stretch. And if the number is greater than one, it's going to be that horizontal shrink. Okay, so the big part that you're going to need to know for tomorrow is how to deal with these equations and be able to describe them. So let's take a look at these and figure out how I could describe them. So if I'm going to describe these, every single one of these has some kind of a number that's associated with it. And all of the numbers that we have here are positive. There's nothing, nothing that's negative. So that means that at least I know in all four of these that it opens up. So that's one thing you can tell about it. If I had a negative that was out here with the 5, then that would be one that would open down. So that's kind of what we're talking about. Now let's talk about that vertical and horizontal. So remember with the examples that we did, we said if the number's in the outside, that it's got to be vertical. So 5's in the outside, that means this one's going to have to be vertical. And this one is on the outside, which means it's got to be vertical. Now, since this 5 up here is bigger than 1, that means it's going to be a stretch. And that means because this one down here is between 0 and 1, that it's going to be a shrink. Okay, now, if I look at the other ones, the number that's in front is actually inside the absolute value which means that these are going to be horizontal. Let me just abbreviate so it fits here. Now, because this number right here is greater than 1, that means it's going to be a horizontal shrink. Because this number right here is between 0 and 1, that's going to be a stretch. Okay, that's the big stuff you have to be able to do for tomorrow. That's from our basic understanding and looking at the graphs. Now, if I didn't know, I could put those in my calculator and graph them if I needed to get an idea of whether they opened up or down or any of that. Okay, I want to go back for just a minute and talk about the back side of that sheet we did earlier. So, first of all, remember, if you have numbers that are at the end outside the absolute value, that that's going to be a shift on the y-axis. So both of these have that. If it's plus 1, that means it goes up 1. This one is negative 2, so that means it's going to go down 2. Those shifts for both of these are on the y-axis. Now, when you have stuff that's inside the absolute value with the x, that's when you have a shift on the x-axis. And remember, those are opposites. So if I have that plus 5 here, it's really going to get shifted to negative 5. So if I go over to here to where negative 5 is, 
that's where my graph is going to be. On this one, it has negative 4, so it gets shifted to positive 4, so that's there. And your graph would be here. Now remember, we could pick these graphs up and move the parent one to get an idea of what it's going to do. But this parent one is really, you know, the basis that you're using for your comparisons to everything. Okay, take a look at these and go over that purple foldable, and we'll take a look at these tomorrow. This will be your warm-up.